this is a video review of two figures rare from Marvel Legends one from now from the new Marvel Legends one from before before um, it was Hasbro I could be wrong but this is a shout out to a guy named I hope I'm getting his name right Tark Talk Art uh, he has the, this rare figure and I'm the only other person I know in YouTube history that has it I don't know about other collectors it is an extremely rare figure it came out in the classic Fantastic Four line line when back when Hasbro had it uh, I believe so so give me one second I'm gonna be back you can look at my wall of G.I. Joe's and I'll be back to see if it is Hasbro I'm just in my room I won't be far because sometimes I forget and I get very forgetful and it is Toy Biz sorry okay so I'm back I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm almost there, I'm almost sitting down. Hold your horses, hold your BB. Okay, it is Toy Biz. Toy Biz Marvel Legends, Marvel Legends, Toy Biz from Marvel Legends, back in the 1990s, early 2000, made a line of Fantastic Four classic line. This figure is extremely rare. Uh, like I said, I only seen the, the guy called Talk Art have it. It is called a Doom Bot. From this is from that line. From that line, there's two different Kangs. S uh, uh, Super Scrolls, about transparent one, regular one, and one with different color arms, looking like the Fantastic Fours. Dragon Man, the rare Dragon Man. Uh, I believe they might eventually do a build a figure Dragon Man. That's gonna go bananas. Everybody's gonna bananas. I'm showing you this because he wanted to see any other person to see he would he was want to see it. it took me a long time to do the video I apologize uh, sir I uh, give me a chance I'm trying to fix his feet his face is not moving oh, yeah. I don't want to break him he's extremely rare he goes for in price value to be honest I don't know I could say I but leave this this fig this extremely rare figure that I'm holding in my hand. I wish I had something that was white behind me. There, okay. This figure is super rare. It's stupid like this because it's hard to see with with the things in the background. This guy goes for between I would say 150 loose to 300 dollars loose it is extremely rare because they only came out in the UK never came out in, in Canada or, or or United States which sucks balls it also came out they're also at the same time as the clamshell rare ones there was a repaint of the third version of the wasp and another version of power man which are extremely rare they only came out in the UK they're super rare or even New Zealand I'm not too sure this is another one he's very articulated but he's very fragile I like that he has this little eagle there on each side there's a small little head with three little holes he has cables coming down two of them he's a silver gold and green robot he's pretty big I would say he's about probably six and a half inches seven inches tall this is a mammoth. This was in a one pack. It wasn't a build a figure. Uh, again, I want to say it, it's redonkulous rare. I think it's even worth $300 on its own, not even $100, maybe even more. I've had offers at up to $500 and I said no. I've only got one. I can never, never, I will never find it again. I know for a fact when you have a rare figure like this, it is not better to sell it. It's better to keep it in your collection. It's been in my collection now for seven years. If I tell you how much I paid for it, you're going to cry, so I'm not going to mention it at all. Even if you leave me a comment at the bottom, I ain't going to say nothing. Because if I tell you how much I paid for it, your mouth's going to drop. I took it off a friend of mine. He gave, I, I sold his collection, and this was something, part of whatever I wanted to keep. And that's all I could say.
It is something that's going to stay in my collection until the day I fly to plastic heaven. Plastic heaven, that's right. Because I am plastic junkie, aka plastic horror. I like stuff like this. I have 15,000 action figures. That's just my action figures. I don't have 20 or 21. I counted as 15,000 plus. I have close to 3,000 comic books. 1,500 VHS, DVDs, and Blu rays, and laser discs. Yes, I have laser discs. I also have something else that's called. I have some betas. I cannot find a beta machine, I cannot find a laser desk machine, and I cannot find any machine for video discs. They're really they're the same size of a laser disc, they're just plastic. That's for you, talk art. And I'm gonna show you another figure that I have in my lap here. This came out in the recent line of Hasbro. A black and white Spider-Man. I don't know if it's called Negative Zone Spider-Man or Altiverse, Alt, Altiverse Spider-Man. Uh, it's extremely rare. I've been offered $120. Uh, I don't want to get rid of it. I have it in my showcase of Marvel Legends. One day when I get a, a, a light in, a very strong light, I'm going to go with a camera, just a hand camera. I'm going to show you all my Marvel Legends with a light, with a light on it. Then you could see how big this display is. It's pretty big. It's about six feet tall, the display. The width is five feet. The, the the no the length is the height is six feet the width the length is five feet the width is two and a half feet you could call me down and to see exactly what's his name I forget I'm plastic junkie I don't remember every character's name it's very hard to remember when you have 15,000 pieces in your collection of plastic and yeah I love smelling them I got it loose for a super good deal I paid ten dollars uh, why? Because the guy says Spider-Man, so I have too many of them, I don't need it. So, And it is a friend of mine, I know this guy for 12 years I've been buying off his store. He's a super nice guy, super good deals. Some people sometimes, this was a dead, how you say, it was a sleeper. And then all of a sudden, poof, people woke up, they don't make him anymore. Plus Junkie out. Thank you for watching this review of my... Doombot from Fantastic Four and an extra figure. Negative Zone Spider Man. Or Negative Zone. Yeah, maybe. Let's call him that. A negative or Universal. I don't know. You give me the name. Remember. It's okay. Who cares? Plastic Junkies Raw. Stay plastic. Cheers. Collect for life.